Good evening, and welcome to Studio West production of Chaplin the Musical. During the show, please silence all cell phones and small children, and refrain from using flash photography as it is a distraction to our actors. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy Studio West production of Chaplin the Musical. He was very funny, wasn't he? Oh yes, he was very good. Look at him, with a little trap. He was so limber. <laughs> I remember this scene. had a different purpose back then. She was very funny. And how I wish I never created him. Tonight, it's not your fault. I know. It's Daddy's. <laughs> uh, Charlie, so many folks out on the street tonight. All different kind of folks. Oh, look at old Mr. Bass. He had a fight with his wife tonight, too. He did? Sure. You can tell by the way he's warm. He puts on a good face, but he's really a bloody man. He is? Sure, Charlie. We all put on a good face. Look at all the people and see
Charlie, I'm very soon to I have made me late for my show. Are you daft, Sidney? Oh, yes, right. Well, we go by way of Kennington Lane, and we can watch the street dancers on the way. Why are you acting so strange, Sid? Nothing. Let's go now. So oh. What on earth is going on? I've asked you a question. <laughs> Charles. Anna? We found Dad. <laughs> I can see that. He's dead. That's, um, that's my wife. And this is Molly. I made with the musical after one of his shows. Really? Well, Charles, don't forget you have a show after mine tonight, and please don't be too late coming home. I don't want you to wake the boys. Hannah! I'm not planning on waking the boys. What is this? Sin, you won't be the man of the house now. So make sure you look after your brother. What? I'm moving in with Molly. No! You, you can't do that. I'm sorry, you, Hannah. You, you can't do that. Charlie, come here. What do you want with him, Charles? I just want to congratulate me, boy. Okay. Charlie, 
How much did they give you? The money. A lot. Look. Oh wow. You don't mind letting your father few pinch, do you? That's just enough to buy us another drink. Thanks, Charlie. Give it back to him! Give him back the money now, Dad! Don't bother me, boy! Get out of here! No! I'm not to ask you a damn thing! Get out of my way! <laughs> no! Run for it, Charlie! Get back here, you little rat! Somebody else stole him! They took my money! You chaplain boys, if you steal from me again, I'll kill the both of ya! <laughs> hey! Next time you decide to steal something, will you let me know first so I can get a head start? Don't worry, that shopkeeper's not very fast on his feet. Or oh, last time you said that, we both ended up in the clean. Now that was a bit of a disappointment, I must say. Good afternoon, boys. Oh, good afternoon, officer. And what are you fine lads up to today? Nothing. Oh, we're out for some fresh air. The fresh air of London, sir. Ah, the fresh air of London, huh? Say, Tom, you're not planning on dropping in on me again tonight. Oh, no, sir. But we did have a lovely visit last time, didn't we? Do you miss us? <laughs> Dearly. Do you think that we lack direction, Charlie? Are you missing the workhouse, Sid? Have you forgotten that every time they've had to say beat us afterward? <laughs> At least they fed us. Just remember, boys, I've got an eye on you two. Good to know, sir. We feel safer already. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Where did you learn to do that? Learn to do what? This? My mom taught me. <laughs> she, she was a good teacher. She was. And uh, who are you? Fred Carno, Carno's world famous speechless comedians. Have you already performed professionally? Well, I made a few pets when I packed my mom on the street after running away from the workhouse. And now? Now I'm just a menace society. I am so good at pantomime, though. So is he. I am. You are now. Well, if you boys want to be something more than just a menace society, come see me in my theatre Friday afternoon and I'll give you a tryout. I'm going to start a new company that's going to travel all over Europe, Paris, Berlin, and maybe even America. Sir! Pantomime? I can't pantomime! I'm sure you can! Surely Mom didn't teach me, but she taught you! I know, and now I'm going to teach you. Just pretend that you're drunk. What? You be the drunk and I be the straight man. Just pretend that I'm annoying you. I don't have to pretend. <laughs> okay, but, but when you mind the drunk, you have to bring a story to it like this. First you walk in, and you trip, and you hope no one saw you, and you regain your footing. And just for a moment, we see in your eyes everything you've lost to the drink. And then you keep shuffling. <laughs> okay, now you try it. You never said anything. Of course not, it's pantomime. No, how come you never said anything when Father died? I didn't know Father. He was never there for us, and he certainly wasn't there for Mum. Oh, God, and neither are we! What? Oh, it's first of the month, Charlie. It's visiting day! Mum! Bloody hell, she's probably been waiting for us the whole time! into a bit of trouble, but we're here now, and we have some great news to tell you. We have an offer to be in vaudeville. Oh! Yes, um, some guy named Carno. Old fellow. But we're going to start on the musicals, Mum, just like you and Dad did. Well, it's just an audition, Charlie. But don't get ahead of yourself. We're going to do great. So, how are you feeling, Mum? 
Oh, I loved the musicals. Oh, I know you did, Mum. And you were the best. And for the audition, we're going to do the drum and the straight face copper. Oh, yes, that is a funny one. I knew you'd like that one. My husband did that sketch when he was first starting out. He was very popular in the musicals. I know, Mum. Oh. Do you always know him? Do you see him on the circuit? I might do a sketch with him one day when he gets back. Mum, you're okay. You're playing. Why do you keep calling me Mum? Always, it's been a while since you've been here. And she's just having a difficult day. No, this is what her days are like now. But she was getting better, uh, and she was supposed to get released soon, and the county was going to help us with the flat. I'm afraid that's not possible now. No, it, it has to be possible. Charlie. Wait. Mum, you know who I am. Tell her that you know who I am. Mum. What did you do to her? What did you do to her? Charlie, it's not her fault. She's not well. Charlie, listen to me. She's going to be okay. Uh, Charlie, she's going to be alright! No, did you hear what she said? She's not, so then let's go back and talk to her. I, I, I can't. Fine, Charlie, then just wait for me here then. I've never known a morning. I haven't felt alone.
Even though you go 
studio lot? Actually, it's supposed to be my third. I just haven't found the courage to walk through the gates yet. What's your name? Charlie Chaffin. Ah, yes. Mr. Senate said you were very funny in one way. Really? <laughs> and, uh, who are you? Nobody important. So what are you scared of? I don't know. The gates are just so big. It's too sunny here. I'm used to London. I wish it would rain. How long did it take you to get here? Ten days by sea and five days by train. Fifteen days. Five thousand miles. And you can't walk the last couple of feet? <laughs> no. It's easy, I'll show you. Follow me. See? Now you. I did it! Congratulations, Charlie Chaplin, and welcome to Keystone Pictures. I'm Max Sennett. Good God! I like the sound of that, but you got me three days behind, Chaplin. What started? Is everybody ready? Oh, hey, don't be rehearsed. No. He's in the script. No. Can I go back to London? No. Just pay attention. That's Charlotte wardrobe and Mary and makeup. The girls who will help you look pretty. That's I'm on the dolly and Pete on the cross. And the man with the camera, he's Raleigh. Now makeup is waiting and daylight is fading, so why not begin with the fun? Come over here, Chaplin, and hang on my words, and I'll show you how pictures are done. With a girl on a bank, two pies and a tree, three cops who will have you laughing. Maybe sit down, guys stand up, Chaplin get in there, attack me. Trouble arrives, the villain appears, Fatty catch your flirt. And he who gets in Fatty's way, I promise, will be hurt. A little to the left, a little to the right, now stand up, Chaplin, find your way. Sit down, stand up, move left, move down, no, no, Chaplin, just look right. Come on, Chaplin, look at me and give me one reaction. You get what I said, forget what I said, I really just want to see action. Charlie. 
Kissel. Movies. Board film. Movies. Board film. See the space in between my hands? Yes, sir. That's the difference between them. Now, movies, when I shout action, I need action. Now, I like you, Charlie. And I like you. Yeah, that's well. So, we'll start again, all right? Okay. Action! Boy! Ah, oh, look to the left, a little to the right. Now, stand up, trap, and start a fight. Don't mean just a little of all the magic that I saw that night. To the gods, to the wise, and villains in disguise. Trap with no time to fight. Won't you show me something funny? They go sweating, fatty, stay. Give me different gang down. Rolly Cohen, beat his brain. Who wins? It's the best thing. Trap and Sam, they strut. Fatty, punch him in the gut. Chop it up. Love this shot, be funny. Trap and damn it, God. <laughs> it's, uh, that, uh, difference again, isn't it, sir? It is. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what my character is doing. What? In London, I always knew what my character was doing. This is Hollywood. We don't have character here. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it's, it's just that it's my first time in front of the camera. And it might well be your last. Wait, let me have one more try, please. Okay. Action! Lord. Here a day has almost slipped without a trace So grab a fire, run a bite, fatty in the face I know it's sick, I know it's good, but who can really blame us? Come on, Dave, turn me down, the gas on the time fading back! Caught! Chabber, are you sure you're the one I hired? I have the cable ground if you want to see it. I don't need to see that. Chaplain, to make it in the flickers, you have to be... Funny. You, you don't think the time funny? No. I did want to saw you in London, but not now. I'll give you one more chance tomorrow. And if I don't see something funny, you're fired. It was fired! Yes, fired! So come up with something funny or else! about me, awful when compared was easy, we pantomime a trunk and they laugh, and everything you do they think is funny, the keystones of all the story, and something so they will set me, something that I've yet to find. Something funny about me. Oh, so many folk up tonight, Charlie. All different kind of folk. Something funny. Something funny about 
Not that important, no. That takes time to be perfect, but you'll get there, I promise. Look at that. Number one film in the country. Doesn't seem real. It is real. Not bad for a poor kid who did time in a London orphanage. Orphanage? What are you saying? I was never in an orphanage. Well, there's a London paper that says you were. I don't know what they're talking about. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Chaplin. Besides, it would make a great story for the American press. London Wraith makes good American films funniest man in the pictures. It might be a great story, but it isn't true. Charlie, there's a man here to see you. Who? I'm busy. He says he's an old friend from London. Oh? London? Well, we'll send him in. Sid! I'll reach out! What are you doing here? I got your letter! It made me want to come see this all for myself. What a surprise! Mac, I want you to meet my big brother Sydney. Hello, Sydney. Welcome. So, how was the journey over? It was long. Ten days by sea. And five days by train. And you walk through the gate all on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope you're planning to stay on. Uh, I'm just here for a short visit, actually. No, no, you must stay longer. Uh, I'm sure that we can find you a job around the studio. Job? What, are you hiring your own people now? Well, it would be nice to have someone around here who could speak proper English. All right, I'll give you two for the catch-up. Nice to meet you, Sid. And remember what I said, Charlie. London Wave makes good in America. It's a great story, Charlie. Oh, it certainly is. Wow. <laughs> are you sure you can't stay on for longer than just a short visit? I have to get back. You know. Yes. How is she? Oh, Sunday's good. And some days not so. Does she know what's happened to me? <laughs> not really. I keep looking for moments of clarity, but they never quite come. You should write to her. I'm, I'm sure that she'd love to hear from you. I will. Can you believe what Senate wants to do? Some London reporter printed that we were in the workhouse and now wants to tell the whole country about it. So what? We were. I know, but bloody hell, not now. That's not what it's like here, Sid. Life here is like the movies, perfect in every way. Here you can write your story, keeping the past at bay. Here it's just happy endings, and the gods only aim to please. Life can be beautiful, life can be grand, life can be like the movies. Please don't go, Sid. How can I stay here with Mom and all the time? Why would I do that to her? Come, I want to show you something amazing. Yeah. 
far from the Kenton Lane. The weather is always fine here, cause we tell the sky when to rain. Beautiful faces strolling along, keeping the world at ease. Life can be like the movies, here you can do what you please. Wow, welcome to Hollywood City. Most certainly is. And he's a good friend of mine. Sorrel! Douglas, I'd like you to meet my brother, Sydney. Another chapel. How frightening. <laughs> nice to meet you. And if I may, if I could do the sword what your brother has done with the cane, I'd be a happy man. Nice to meet you, Sid. Mr. Chaplin, I'm from Photoplay Magazine. I'm wondering if you'd like to comment on the story you grew up in a London orphanage. I do not comment on things that are not true. Well, people are saying that they say that I have nothing to say about it. Thank you. Charlie Chaplin. Yes? Jesse Robbins from Rest Night Pictures. I have a very important question for you. Would you ever think of leaving Max City when your contract expires? Leave Mr. Senex. Why? I'd make it worth your while. Well, how worth his while? And you are? This is my brother Sydney. He's uh, my business manager. Oh yeah? You are now. Alright, Sydney, I'll make it very worth his while. Ask him if I can direct my own pictures. Could Charlie direct his own pictures? Absolutely. Well, what do you think? Could you give me a minute? Tony, what are you doing? I know nothing about business managing. But you could. And besides, who would be a better manager than the one who has always looked out for me? And we really need Mr. Senate. After all that he's done for you. I don't know. Look around, Sid. Yesterday we were selling bread on the streets of London, and now? And besides, Mrs. Senate wants to tell the world that we were in a workhouse. Never. If we do this, we bring Mom over. Yes, when the time is right. All right, Charlie, we'll take care of this. Welcome to Hollywood City. Come see Charlie Chaplin, sleep here at the
distribution for its national fly pictures with the hours to distribute. And then you'll be the first person in history to hold his own distribution company and studio. Happy New Year, Charles. Charlie! First National has agreed to take the pressure off if you give them the last picture that you owe them. Well, you've got to come up with another idea. I will! I have my own studio and I can't even come up with a picture to shoot in it. It will be fine, Charlie. Will it, Mildred? Yes! You just need some inspiration, that's all. Just think of the new life we've started together. A new house, a new studio. Yes. Yes, Mildred. All three of us. Three of us? Is your mother moving in? <laughs> no. I'm gonna have a baby. Oh, thank God, I thought. What? Oh, a baby? I found out last week and I've been waiting for the right time to tell you. A baby? Yes, Charlie. You're gonna be a father. Oh, please tell me you're happy about it. I am. I am like a woman like this. See, that this Mildred is going to have a baby. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Terrific, Charlie. Who's the father? <laughs>
Charlie! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in bed. I'm sorry, Charlie. I've been trying to reach you all day, and I finally got a hold of Alice. I told her to come by and that you would take her to the hospital. A doctor thinks it's a good idea. In fact, he insists that it's a good idea. And what do you mean? It means you might be a father by the end of the day. What? Now? Oh my god, we'll go to the hospital immediately. I'll get the driver ready and tell everyone to go home. Mr. Jacobs, you cannot just walk in here like that. We're in the middle of filming. I am the president of First National Pictures, Sydney. Since we are paying for this film, I most certainly can walk in here and tell you. Charlie, you may be the biggest star, but if we don't have a finished picture in two days, we will be shutting down the production, taking the film away from you. Two days? Oh, but we just have one more major scene to shoot. You've been saying that for eight months now. You've run out of time and excuses. You can't do this. I'm an artist. And I am a businessman. You have two days to finish. Damn it. Is it possible, Charlie? I don't know. I just reached off the opening, and I still have to shoot that one last scene, that, that one crucial scene. <laughs> oh, and I have to finish editing by tomorrow, which means I don't have to finish filming by tonight. Just so can you do it? Mildred, Sydney will take you to the hospital. I'll be along as soon as I can. Why can't you come with me? I will. Soon. Finish the picture, Charlie. I'll be along soon. Call the cast back and bring me back my son. Jackie, right. I've got one last big scene to shoot with you. Are you up for it? Yes. Good. Now, I want you to tell me what would be the saddest thing that could ever happen to you. If my dog died? That would be very sad. But what if you were taken away from your mother? I wouldn't like that. That would be very scary. So I want you to remember that when we're shooting the scene, because those two mean men are going to take you away and lock you up in a workhouse for little boys. They're not nice. You're right, Jackie, they're not. You ready, Rolly? Jackie, let me see what we talked about. You're frightened. Jackie, okay, pay attention. Look over here, Jackie, all right? Okay, Re reach your arms out. Re reach your arms out, Jackie. Reach your arms out. Beg them not to take you away. Sh show them how unhappy you are. I want to see tears in your eyes. Cry. I don't want to. Don't look at your mother. Stop. Cut. Where is my mom going? She's going home without you. But I want to go with her. You can. not Why not? She is very angry with you, Jackie. You didn't cry for me. I want my mom. Do you want me to take you to her? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I don't like it anymore. I want my mom! I'm sorry, but she's gone. Roll camera. No, Mom, please, don't leave me here. I'm sorry, Charlie, but I have to. Please, Mom, no. I want to stay with you. <laughs> She has to go to the hospital. I want to go with her. No, Charlie, children aren't allowed. Why not? Why not? Because they're not. It's not good. Charlie! I love you. No! I promise. I promise I'll come back for you, Charlie. No! Charlie, I promise. No, Mom. Promise, don't leave me. Mom, please don't leave me. Mom! Mom! God! It's okay. Hey now, I I'm here. The tramp came back for you, didn't he? And nothing bad happened, nothing. The tramp reunites you with the long lost mother. Thank you, Jackie. Mum! That's all, everyone. The picture is done. Thank you, Ralph. Your finest work, Charlie. It is. Everything is done. Everything is perfect. And now I'm going to be a father. Congratulations, Charlie. I wonder if he'll laugh at my pictures when he's older. Or she. I really want to be a great father, Alf. I'm sure that you will be, Charlie. I've always been glad that you made the journey over from London. I'm glad that you're here with us, Alf. Me too, Charlie. Me too. Charlie! Sid! You're here! I, I was just coming to meet you! How's Mildred? Fine. She's just a Charlie. She had a baby? Oh, well, yes. Oh, oh, what is it? Well, it's, it's a boy, oh, Charlie. I have to see him. wrong. You know, Sid. With this picture done, I am finally ready to take some time off and because I realised that it's important to be there for my son, Toffee! I can't believe you Charlie didn't live! What? 
I'm sorry, Charlie. He was so small and weak, and the doctor said no. that his lungs. Mildred is okay. She's at the hospital with her mother. Come on, I'll drive you over in, in a little. Charlie, you have to. I just need to be alone. You just can't just go be with her. I'll be alone. Mr. Fairbanks called and said, you're going to be in all of the papers tomorrow. But the kid finished, you are now the only actor in history to have his own studio and his own distribution. No one has ever done that, Charlie. You're the most powerful actor in the world. The photographers from all the papers outside, they want to get a shot of you as the tramp in front of the new Charlie Chaplin studio sign. Yes, it just arrived and it's beautiful. Everyone is waiting. Come on. Life can be like the movies, perfect in every way. Here you can write your story. Keeping the past at bay Here you can change the ending If the ending's not what you please Love 